This video is going to help you with adding fractions with different denominators. Um, I have here is 3 fourths plus 1 half. I cannot add them right now because the denominators are not the same. I'm going to start out with some easy ones where you only have to change one of the denominators. If you notice, if you take a look at the smaller denominator, I have a 2 here. I can change this 2 to a 4 by, change, by multiplying times 2. So 2 times 2 equals 4. And if I took the bottom of the fraction times 2, the denominator times 2, I have to take the numerator times 2, top times 2. So now what I've really done is change 1 half to 2 fourths. So now I have 3 fourths plus 2 fourths equals 5 fourths. And then when I go to simplify, because I have an improper fraction, that really means 5 divided by 4 goes one time. Subtract, I got one remainder 1. Remember, we bring this guy over right underneath. Oh, yeah, 1 and 1 fourth. Let's try a couple more out. Is there anything I can multiply 3 by to get to be a 9? Yes, I can take it times 3. So if I'm taking the bottom times 3, I know I'm also going to take the top times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. So now I have 6 ninths plus 7 ninths equals 13 ninths. As you can tell already, most of the time when we add fractions, or a lot of the times when we add fractions, we're going to end up with an improper fra fraction. 9 goes into 13 one time. i got 4 left over. Bring them over. And my answer is 1 and 4 ninths. 1 fifth plus 6 tenths. Check real fast. Can I take the smaller one times something to get the larger denominator? Yep, I can go 5 times 2, which means I'm going to take the 1 times 2. I have a 10 for my denominator and a 2 for my numerator. So now I really have 2 tenths plus 6 tenths equals 8 tenths. This time it's not an improper fraction, so I'm not going to have an answer over 1. I'm not just going to do 8 divided by 10. But I am going to check if I can simplify. And since 8 and 10 are both even, I can divide them both by 2, which is going to get me to 4 fifths. 5 eighths plus 1 fourth. Can I take 4 times something to equal 8? Yes, I can take it times 2. If I take the bottom times 2, I'm taking the top times 2. So my 1 fourth is really the same as 2 eighths. And now I have 5 eighths plus 2 eighths equals 7 eighths. And it's as simple as it can go because 7 is a prime. It's not an improper fraction, and there's nothing I can divide 7 and 8 both by. Let's try the one on the bottom, 5, 6 plus 1 half. Is there something I can take 2 times to get to 6? Times 3. If I take the bottom times 3, I'm taking the top times 3. So 1 half is really the same as 3, 6. 5, 6 plus 3, 6 gets me 8, 6. 8 divided by 6 it goes 1 time. Subtract. I got a remainder of 2. 1 and 2, 6. However, people are looking for those places where I can simplify. Notice that 2 and 6 are both even, so I can divide the fraction part of my mixed number by 2. And that's going to equal 1 third. This 1 still stays the same. So instead of 1 and 2, 6, I have 1 and 1 third. Whenever you're simplifying in a mixed number, make sure that the whole number stays the same. Here's something for you to try out. Stop the video and you try it. 3 times 2 is going to get me to a 6, so I'm taking the bottom times 2 and the top times 2. And over here I got 4, 6. 4, 6 plus 1, 6 equals 5, 6, and that's as simple as it can go. On the bottom one, 2 times what equals 10? Mm, times 5. Bottom times 5, so top times 5. 1 half is really the same as 5 tenths. 5 tenths plus 3 tenths equals 8 tenths. I believe we simplified this back on one of the other problems. They're both even, so I can divide them by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4, and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Another one, stop the video and you try it out. 
four smaller denominator, can I take it times something to equal 12? Yep, four times three, so if I'm taking the bottom times three, I'm taking the top times three. Three fourths is really the same as nine twelfths. Nine twelfths plus seven twelfths gets me sixteen twelfths. One twelve and sixteen with the remainder of four. So I'm at 1 and 4 twelfths. However, I can simplify this because they're both even. But besides them both being even, I notice I could divide them both by 4. 4 divided by 4 gives me a 1. 12 divided by 4 gives me a 3. Remember this, the whole number part's coming over, so I'm at 1 and a third. 5 ninths plus 1 third. What can I do to the 3 to get to change to a 9? times 3, the top times 3, this fraction equals 3 ninths, and I got 5 ninths plus 3 ninths equals 8 ninths, and it's as simple as it could go. All right, here's a step up. You notice it changed from black to red. This fraction, if I try to take my smaller denominator 3 times something equal 4, there's no numbers that work. So, so what, what I have, I have to do first is find the LCM of those two numbers. numbers. So, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 4, 8, 12. Oh, there we go. My LCM is going to be 12. Some people go, why do you want to find the LCM? I need to change both denominators. So I'm going to take this one times something to get a 12 on the bottom. And I'm going to take this one times something to get a 12 on the bottom. 3 times 1 equals 12 times 4, and if I take the bottom times 4, I have to take the top times 4. So 2 thirds is really the same as 8 twelfths. 4 times something equals 12. Well, a while ago we just did 3 times 4, so it must be 4 times 3 in reverse. If I take the bottom of this one times 3, I have to take the top of this one times 3, so it equals 3 twelfths. Now I have 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths equals 11 twelfths. It's not improper. I can't, I can't divide them both by two. They're not even. It's, it's as simple as it'll go. Eleven twelfths. Let's try that out again. Step one was find my LCM. So I need an LCM of five and four because there's nothing I can take four times to get five. So over here I know these pretty quick. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. There we go. I'm going to change both of them to get a denominator of 20. So 4 times something is going to equal 20. 5 times something is going to equal 20. 5 times 4 equals 20. I've taken the bottom times 4. I've taken the top times 4. So this is now 16 twentieths. Over here, since I took 4 times something equals 20, 4 times 5 equals 20. So 3 times 5 equals 15. So now I have 16 twentieths plus 15 twentieths, 31 twentieths. It's improper fraction because the larger number's on top, so I'm going to divide. I'm dividing by 20, but it's not really that tough. 31 over 20 goes in one time. Subtract, I've got an 11. I'm going to bring this over, even though it's a two-digit number, I'm bringing it over just like I did on all the other problems. My answer is going to be 1 and 11 twentieths. And I can't simplify it any farther because they're not both even. So 1 and 11 twentieths. By the way, if I'm only adding up two fractions and they're both less than 1, I know this number right here can never be over 1. Like when I'm dividing, I don't even have to think about whether it's going to go in there two or three or four times. It's always going to be 1. Two-thirds plus three-eighths, because I take three times something to equal eight. No. So I need to find the LCM of them. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. I think I know the three song. Multiples of eight. Eight times one. Eight times two. Eight times three. There we go. Twenty-four. I'm going to change them both to 24s. 
By now, some people may have noticed. You know how we did the cross multiply butterfly? 3 times A equals 24, right? You could always just multiply these denominators together. I like to do the LCM because sometimes there's going to be a smaller number and it will make my fraction a little bit easier. If I just do the denominator times denominator, it usually means I'm going to have more to simplify at the end. But I still should get to the right answer. So 3 times what equals 24? 3 times 8. So bottom times 8, top times 8. We got 16 24 over here. 8 times 3 equals 24. So I'm taking the top times 3 also. I got 9 24. So 9 24 plus 16 24 equals 25 24. How many 24s and 25? One of them. One remainder, one. Oh, one and one, 24th. All right, time for you to try some out on your own. Stop the video when you try it. I can't do five times something equals six, so I'm looking for the LCM. This time I'm going to cheat just a little bit because I know my fives, 5, 10, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I know it's going to end with a 5 or a 0. So I'm looking for the first multiple of 6 that ends with a 5 or a 0. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. There we go. So I'm trying to get both of them to have a denominator of 30. So 5 times 6 equals 30, bottom times 6, top times 6, 18 30ths over here. 6 times 5 equals 30, take the top times 5. So we got 18 30ths plus 5 30ths equals 23 30ths. See if I can simplify. It's not an improper fraction, so I'm just going to be simplifying. They're not both even. I, uh, 23 is not a multiple of 3. Not, not working on five, five. I think that's, that's it. it. There's my, my final answer, 23 thirtieths. Stop, Stop the video when you try this one out. Four fifths plus one third. Again, can't, can't take three times something to get five, so I'm looking for LCM. I'm going to cheat a little bit again because remember, if, if it's a multiple of five, it ends with fives or zero, so I'm going to my three song. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, uh, there we go. There's one that ends with fives. So I'm going for five times something. And 3 times something, that equals 15. 5 times 3, so 4 times 3, which equals 12. 3 times 5 equals 15, so 1 times 5 equals 5. We've got 12 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths equals 17 fifteenths. When I divide, it goes 1 time. Remainder 2. So my answer is going to be 1 and 2 fifteenths, and I can't simplify the fraction anymore because 2 is even and 15 is not. Got time for about one more. Stop the video when you try it out. 4 fifths plus 1 half. Again, I know this is going to end with 5s or zeros. I also know that if I count by 2s, it's even numbers, so I could go either way. So... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's my LCM. I'm changing them both to get to be a denominator of 10. 5 times 2, so 4 times 2 equals 8. 2 times 5, which means 1 times 5 equals 5. 5 tenths plus 8 tenths. 13 tenths. Go ahead and divide it out. It goes one time. Remainder 3, so my answer is going to be 1 and 3 tenths. So the steps again real fast. I find the LCM, change the denominators, add them up, and then simplify because it's either going to be an improper fraction or it may be a fraction where I'm just simplifying. 